and being declassified from the human race and then brought down to a lower race that symbolized color. When we talk black, white, uh, mulatto, he did not want us to be classified in these racial categories, but to be elevated back to the human race, uh, where there was only one race and that was called human. Uh, as he said in his famous speech, the Negro finds himself a slave in his own land. Uh, that means that, you know, we have been consistently and constantly fighting, whether it be uh, from Frederick Douglass, uh, his writings, whether it be from W.E.B. Du Bois, uh, his writings, John Henry Clark on the African uh, writings, uh, again, uh, Drew Ali, uh, speaking about uh, the Moorish history here in the, in the United States of America. You know, the, these things that were talked about were just reminders of who we were in the past and what our fight has been in this country. We did not want to be called Negro. We did not want to be called a color. Tell everyone about Drew Ali. 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 Tell everyone. Let the world know Drew Ali came. Brought a flag, religion, and free national name. Brought an ID card. Don't flash at the hybrid. Learn about the righteous and when we were the pirates. Ancestral creed. Clandestine heed. Warnings of the prophet. They can't intercede. Canaanite, Hittite, Amorite brethren. Atlantis direction, north, south, and central, flag continental, founder and uniting of the more holy temple of science, nationality is alliance, always in defiance of their worship compliance, active, not passive, estate is massive, use the compass, draw circles around your passions, carpets is tool, in the mind workshop, Corsica bandana, covered eyes in bird box, return to ancestors' mind, descendants of ancients, forget the mundane, knowledge attained. Guided by the principles, our own laws and customs. If they teach but don't bring up Drew Ali, don't trust them. Tell everyone about Drew Ali. 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 Tell everyone. Tell everyone about Drew Ali. 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 Tell everyone. I told a Filipino woman about Drew Ali. We got more into the pedigree. She said she more. I said that meant more than me. Couldn't have this conversation a few years back when I was a few years black. Two thousand years I cried in tears, but I'm back. Still here, thought manifested from a higher tier. I appear, spirit and flesh with divine warnings. Choose life or death. I heard my mother utter to the nigga, black or color, African American, and that's another. More be yourself, no other. You're the last person in place that move others. Hatred, slander, lewdness, murders. The pleasure of the lower, rich in promise, so you can't prevent effects from causes. So a seed planted, so a seed growing. Deep in the soil, we love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Born on a Friday, I put down our Venus. Created fake, Allah used a genius. You sent your last prophet to all lift me, so I gotta tell everybody. Tell everyone about you early, 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 tell everyone. Tell everyone about you early, 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 tell everyone. Your man is your dog and your homegirl a bitch.
witch Inquisition lies turn high priestess to witch Burned at the stake cooked like fish Escovitch Coin tell pro are not pros but rookies TikTok program makes young girls shake their cookies Transgenders wanna be called proper pronouns The Wade's son turned daughter Pawn of the order Used for the rituals niggas wearing capris Slam dunk champ shorts are way above his knees By yourself with three masks on that's a disease Most of y'all are crack fiends for vaccines Giving passes to perf clones Like Weinstein Wiley Your favorite actor had property on Epstein Island Hollywood Kazars Try above 13 wizards Blowing lies make visibility poor like blizzards With sins greater than 55 miles per hour Stupidity will surely get your minds devoured Using your soul to quench the thirst of diabolic devils Then ignorance will rise past hyperbolic levels Are you thinking or is your mind controlled? Are you blinking or is your first eye closed? Will you think and save yourself or fall victim? Will you fight back or keep getting your face kicked in? Are you thinking or is your mind controlled? Are you blinking or is your first eye closed? Will you think and save yourself or fall victim? Will you fight back or keep getting your face kicked in? Uh, I put your head on the water and show you what's important. You need ear, of course, some more will appear. Anywhere I stand, Morocco is there. So no matter where I stand, my rights will be clear. The love the land, sign by the air. Lies turn high priestess to witch Burned at the stake cooked like fish Escovitch Coin tell pro are not pros but rookies TikTok program makes young girls shake their cookies Transgenders wanna be called proper pronouns The Wade's son turned daughter Pawn of the order Used for the rituals niggas wearing capris Slam dunk champ shorts are way above his knees By yourself with three masks on that's a disease Most of y'all are crack fiends for vaccines Giving passes the perf clones like Weinstein Wiley your favorite actor had property on Epstein Island Hollywood Kazars try above 13 wizards blowing lies make visibility poor like blizzards with sins greater than 55 miles per hour stupidity will surely get your minds devoured using your soul to quench the thirst of diabolic devils then ignorance will rise past hyperbolic levels are you thinking or is your mind controlled are you blinking or is your first eye closed will you think and save yourself or fall victim will you fight back or keep getting your face kicked in are you thinking or is your mind controlled are you blinking or is your first eye closed will you think and save yourself or fall victim will you fight back or keep getting your face kicked in uh, i put your head on the water and show you what's important you need ear of course some more will appear anywhere i stand morocco is there so no matter where i stand my rights will be clear the love the land sign by the air the true air ownership cut up in color you disown the ship a black star with black people in it ship garvey away before Juali boarded it that's a smart plan by some hybrids uh but the birds still fly with a message a flag of culture heritage american republic feeling like cottage you're driving cars i'm riding elephants you thinking nothing relevant black before every statement you're an agent need i say more i'm in 7-eleven you're thinking corner stores human rights declared but how they corner yours are you thinking or is your mind controlled are you blinking or is your first eye closed will you think and save yourself or fall victim will you fight back or keep getting your face kicked in are you thinking or is your mind controlled are you blinking or is your first eye closed will you think and save yourself or fall victim will you fight back or keep getting your face kicked in if you got any questions just put it in the chat Peace to all the Moors worldwide. So, so 
South America. South America. South is a direction. Mm -hmm. America is a geographical location. South America has people there. These people in South America have mm -hmm. a nationality. Mm -hmm. They'll call themselves Negro, Black, Colored, African, and whatever else. They have a nationality. No matter what they look like, they got a nationality. And their nationality ties them to the landmass that these people are from. You have Argentinian, Bolivian, Brazilian, Chilean, Colombian, Ecuadorian, Guyanese, Paraguayan, Peruvian, Surinamese, Uruguayan, Venezuelan, South America. And then when you go talk to them, they're going to tell you about their culture. Noble Jolly told the Moors that they're American citizens. Why are they American citizens? He said, Moors study your holy Quran. Study your divine constitution and bylaws. So when you go to the holy Quran of the Moorish prophet, he tells you about the divine origin of the Asiatic nations. And he tells you that these Asiatic nations and countries are in South, North, and Central America. He said that the Moorish Americans and Mexicans in North America and the Brazilians, Argentinians, and Chileans in South America. Mm -hmm. Colombians, Nicaraguans, and natives of San Salvador in Central America, etc. All of these are Muslims. Which means that they're Moors. Because only Moors are Muslim. So all these Moors of South America all have a nationality. You go check them, their own prophet came to them and told them about they need to get their act together. They have their own prophet. They ain't worried about Jesus and whatever like that. They have their own brother that they parade down the street with. That's not Jesus. They have their own woman that they parade around with that had a, a heir that, that's not Mary and Jesus, baby Jesus, in a manger. They have their own prophet. And they have a nationality. And then in the 1920s, Noble Juali outlined this to you in the Quran that he told you to read back then. And in it, he told you that the Asiatic nations... The Asiatic nations of North, South, and Central America are all Muslims. But the the North Americans 
are identified as the Moorish Americans and Mexicans. So if Brazil, Argentina, Chile, Colombia, Nicaragua, Ecuador, Guyana, Peru, Suriname, Uruguay, and all these places have a landmass attached to them, then that means Mexicans mm -hmm. should have a landmass attached to them, and then Moorish Americans should have a landmass attached to them. And all those would be Americans. But not just Americans, they're also going to be American citizens. How come Noble Juali didn't say the Canadians and United Statesians and Mexicans of North America? How come he didn't say the Americans and the Mexicans in North America? How come he didn't say the American citizens? How come he, remember this is the Quran, right? How come he didn't say American citizens and Mexicans in North America? Why did he say Moorish American? Why, why is it? so so important for him to say it's the Moorish Americans of North America and the Mexicans of North America if above Mexico is United States and Canada how come Noble Juali didn't say that that's the Canadians and United Statesians and Mexicans of North America. How come he didn't say that? Canada existed. Canada's been around before Nobu Juali. So is U.S. So if those things have been around before Nobu Juali, why did Nobu Juali say Moorish Americans and Mexicans and not Canadians and United Statesians? Because this has nothing to do with citizen. Nobu Juali talking about American citizens and divine warning is for the dummies who were so dumb that they didn't even understand nationality and how broad he was talking when he said in the one-on-one questionnaire that he told Morris to go study that. That you are Moorish American. That's your nationality and that's his nationality. He's not American citizen because he has a nationality. He can't be an American citizen if he has a nationality. Because everybody knows America's a continent, not a government. So we dealt with America. So America can't even be used in, in the conversation. Because America's a continent. So he must be talking to dumb people if he's speaking so broad to say American citizens instead of being specific to the nationality. And Moors are always on, Moors are on game. This is not for Moors. This is for the dummies. So you're going to have to go find out what a citizen is. Before you even start talking about you are something. I'm Hebrew Israelite. I'm, I'm a Hebrew citizen. I'm a Rastafarian citizen of the, the rabbinical order of the whatever. You're absolutely not. Are you, in, are you in North America? Well, guess what? You're Moorish American. No, but I'm... No. Are you, are, you, are you in North America? If you're on the continent of the Americas and you're in the northern part, above Mexico, you're Moorish American. Period, point blank. There ain't nothing to, to discuss. Why are you calling yourself something other than you're not? No wonder... You're having issues.
Just get with the program that was laid down for you. You wouldn't have issues, but you want to debate something. Ms. Novo Juali, right? He said nationality. Everybody else on the planet with a nationality, they can go in the street and burn stuff down if the government doesn't want to do what they're supposed to do. Over here, they, they think because they burned down their, their, all the stores in their community that that's a revolution. No, that you're a dumbass. Because no other nationality burns down their own stuff when, when something happens, when the government takes advantage of them. They don't burn down their own stuff. Why are you going to burn down their own community? Touch not one government building. What is a citizen? In general... Because they're talking for the dummies. Because they don't understand nation and national. So they're not even going there. So generally speaking, this is just generally. This is not what it is. This is just this is just generally. A member of a free city, a free city or rural society, possessing all the rights and privileges which can be enjoyed by any person under its constitution and government and subject to the corresponding duties. So that's why you have a holy covenant. Because you have your own government and your own constitution and you got duties that you're supposed to be doing when you when you take the mantle of I'm a Moor, I got my nationality card, I got my paperwork, I got my Moorish passport, I got my whatever you're claiming that you got. Are you doing something for the nation or are you just posing around? You just posing around? Look, we're not doing anything, anything with that Moorish stuff that you got. What are you talking about Ellen Bay and all we see is you're just doing stuff for yourself or stuff? Because if you're claiming, you know, we're riding with you more saying that you're American citizens. So if you're saying you're American citizen, then that means you should be part of a general society. And you're supposed to be under your own constitution and government. If you're a citizen, because you can't be citizen of U.S. and Canada, because those aren't governments. So what are you claiming you're a citizen of when you say you're an American citizen, but then I, I can't see any body politic with you? I just see you and yourself. How, how are you a citizen? Because to be a citizen, you got to be a rural society. And if you're a rural if you're drill, that's pertaining to natural or positive right. And Nobu Juali said, you have a nationality, which is a natural right, not a privilege. It's a right. So if you have the right to a nationality, and you're a part of a drill society, and drool is pertaining to natural or positive right or to the doctrine of rights and obligations and you have a holy covenant which is an obligation and then you have a nationality which is a right how are you saying you're a citizen of a U.S. or a Canada and then how are you saying that you're an American citizen when nothing that you display proves that you're acting pertaining to natural and positive right and the doctrines of rights and obligations. Obviously, people is debating BS. Why more is this? Why more is that? And then when we bring up the question of nationality, everybody wants to talk about well, more is semantics. Why do more is doing semantics? Because... You can't use semantics. No, we say nationality. Because if we go back to the brothers at South America, 
Everybody knows some that look just like you. And they don't call themselves black. Stop the BS. They don't call themselves African. They don't call themselves any of the fictions. They call themselves by their nationality. And our people recognize them as their nationality. So if you're going to recognize them for their nationality, and we're showing you documented facts that Nobu Juali said that the Asiatic nations and countries in North, South, Central America, the Moorish Americans and Mexicans in North America, that means it's only us and Mexicans here. And the Mexicans, they got a nationality. Oh, you don't want to be Moorish American because the Fez comes from the Turks and the Turks are the Arabs who enslaved our people across the Sahara Desert because they wanted to give them Islam and then they murdered our people and then they went to the Congo and then they had their fesses on they were cutting people's hands off really? that's what you're falling for? prophets telling you how you can claim your vast estate and you're telling me about some Europeans said the fez some Europeans said some Europeans said more is a sovereign citizen so you're riding with that but you're not going to ride with Nobu Juali. You said you're a Moorish American. You're from North America. What don't you get? How, how all these people convince you that the Mexicans aren't Negro, black, colored, whatever. They look just like you, right? The people in Mexico who have a nationality called Mexican, they look just like you. And how come they don't call themselves Negro, black, colored, and all that stuff? How come they only call themselves Mexican? Why do they call themselves black Mexicans even? They don't even say black Mexicans. African Mexicans. They don't even say that. And, and they came from Africa. How do they come from Africa and they're still Brazilian? You realize that somebody's playing you? Yeah, three quarters of the slaves went to South America and Brazil. What's your nationality? Brazilian. I thought, I thought you were a slave, you came from Africa. How are you Brazilian? How are you Chilean? How are you Colombian? How are you that if you came from Africa somewhere? Because obviously the light people who they got right now, those aren't the ones who are the originals. You know, because everybody knows in the South, you know, people are going to be darker. They're going to be lighter in the South. Oh, the Spaniards. Oh, no, the Spaniards were dark skin too. You know, you know, get it messed up. Spaniards aren't coming over here and, and, and burning in the sun and all that stuff. One drop rule. Nationality. And they don't want our people to know that. Well, you can, you know, you can know anything else. <laughs> Anything else you want to know, go right on ahead and know that. Please go know that. And then remember that Nobu Juali brought us back to this concept of even knowing law and studying law. Because he told you, go to those that know law and go ask them. <laughs> see, if, see if what I'm telling you is right and exact or if I'm talking some BS. Go ask those who know law over there and see what they tell you. And some of us Moors went to those who know law. And they came up with the, with the books piled up to the ceiling. Backing up everything that Nobu Juali said. With no, no sliver room. Like the, like the pyramids. You couldn't slide a piece of paper between these two bricks. That's why they keep you away from, from reading. Keep you away from especially civics. Because if you really understood the civics, you really realize that Nobu Juali wasn't playing games and, and he's he's the man. Any one of your other nigger leaders that you're talking about that brought you something, 
people. Are, did they mention nationality? Nah. <laughs> that's a nigger leader. Hey, that's a slave. They sent him for you. They sent him. If they're not talking nationality, Europeans sent him to keep you confused. You name them. You name them. If they didn't mention, if they're not mm -hmm. talking about nationality mm -hmm. to you, and they're supposed to be saving you, know that somebody sent them to you. Juro, recognized or sanctioned by positive law, embraced within or covered by the rules and enactments of positive law. Thus, the jural sphere is to be distinguished from the moral sphere, the latter denoting to the whole scope or range of ethics or the science of conduct, the former embracing only such portions of the same as have been made the subject of legal sanction or recognition. The latter moral sphere denoting the whole scope or range of ethics or science of conduct. So Ajwali said this is divine and it's national. Because more than likely in any jurisdiction that you go in, there's going to be Boaz and Yoakum. There's going to be the two pillars, Samson. There's always going to be the two, the duality, because that's natural law. You ain't going to do anything about that. You can't change that. That applies at all times. And then that'll prove to you that it's positive law, because you're going to be dealing with the whole scope, not a fraction, not a partial It's not going to be partial. Right? What is Jural? Founded in law. Organized upon the basis of a fundamental law. And existing for the recognition and protection of rights. Why you think Druali said nationality? Because that's, that's a basis of fundamental law, that your status is correct. Because that's the first issue at law. What is your mm -hmm. status? So you better have a nationality if you're going to be talking from any position. If you don't have a nationality, you're done for. And mm -hmm. remember, all these people, they got theirs. You playing around? You, you don't got yours? These people been had their nationality? You're just getting hip to some game and somebody's telling you about onks and all that stuff and they're not telling you about nationality? They're telling you about crystals and, and massage and all this stuff and, and they're not telling you about nationality? They're not giving you the root of what this is about? Go again. Go again. Organized upon, okay, so remember, we started off at citizen, right? And that a citizen is a member of a free city or a jural society. Because people like to talk about, Noble Juali said we're American citizens, so that means we're U USA citizens. No, it doesn't. That doesn't mean that they're lying. Because you have a nationality. You were played out of it, calling yourself all this other BS that you thought was a nationality. Those weren't nationalities. That was BS. BS with sprinkles on it, call it a nationality. You fell for it. Citizen, 
member of a drill society. Drill society mm. is based in mm. positive right doctrines of right obligations, positive law. There's a drill sphere and a moral sphere. This is this this. This is founded in law. This is not somebody's opinion. It's organized upon the basis of a fundamental law. The Morris Science Temple is founded on the basis of a fundamental law. Declare your nationality. It's fundamental law. And existing for the recognition and protection of rights. You have nationality, now you can protect your property because you're not a slave. Because only slaves are property. And property can't own property. So you declare your nationality, so now you're not a slave. You're not a ward. You're not under the jurisdiction of whoever's making a claim. Does having a license make you a slave? A license is permission to do something. A slave is one who serves another depending on whatever their arrangement they got. But somebody's a serve, a serf. An instrument can only make you a slave if you let the instrument do that. Because the time that we're living in now, slavery is voluntary. And if you volunteer, then that's on you. So if the individual who has the license knows what a license is and they're using it in that capacity then that has nothing to do with, with the individual if I have a license to kill then people better not mess around mm-hmm If I have a license to drive a bus, then in your mind you have to know you're, you have 50 other people whose lives is in your hands because you're driving this big whatever and you better know what you're doing. That's nothing to do with the individual. Right? If you have a license to do whatever, be a dentist. You're not going to go in there with, with, you know what I mean, plastic tools. Talk about extracting some. So the license can't make you a slave unless you volunteer to be a slave. Because slavery is voluntary. Nobody's coming, running down, throwing net on you, and then now you're a slave. That's not, that's not how slavery happens. That was a lie. Now what people who are in the realm of licenses and whatever should consider is that if you if you have a license, that means you sign something. And if you sign something, that means a contract. And if this contract is only signed by you and nobody else signed this, you're probably in trouble. And everything's cool right now because you didn't you didn't get into any issues. But they got you by the kahunas. Because you gave up your right for a privilege that only you signed, which is voluntary slavery. That's how you became a slave if you have a license. But if you have the knowledge of contracts. And you're not looking at it as, oh, it's a license, or it's a diploma, or it's 
uh, no, it's a contract because there's going to be a signatory. You sign on, you agree. So if you're going to agree to contracts, you better know about contracts. Now one of the rules of contracts is that you have a right to reserve your rights on a contract. Because sometimes contracts are BS. Right? Going back to this thing about drill society and being organized based on a fundamental law the law that one has a right to reserve their rights you have a, a right license is a privilege so certain things you might need a license and you might want to deal with somebody who's licensed the guy who's flying the plane, I would probably want him to be licensed. I'm going to just give, give a guy a plane. Oh, yeah, you want a plane? Oh, yeah, go right ahead. Should probably be licensed for certain stuff. Especially if you, you know, you're not in a position to do it yourself. You need somebody else to do it. You'll probably want the guy who knows how to build stairs to build your stairs. You want a guy who never built stairs before building your stairs. Because you'll probably end up broke and have no stairs. So you would call in the licensed professional. Whether they go, where they got the license from and whatever qualifies them, aka license. It could be their experience that's their license. Forget them showing you a paper. They come with their own portfolio and show you pictures of all the stuff that they built. Say, oh, snap, okay, you got it. All right. You know what you're talking about. You know, numbers there, you can call, verify. Yeah, how's your stairs? Because I want this guy to build my stairs. And you know what I mean? He, did, he doesn't have a license, but he showed me all these pictures of stairs that he built and your numbers here. Oh, yeah, he's the stair man. We, we've, been, we've been getting stairs from him for 50 years. So don't think license means some paper that somebody over there gave you. Because if somebody over there gave you a paper, that's a license, that's business. But then if they're business, then why, why is that coming through a governmental office? And if it's coming through a governmental office, then should, doesn't that mean that it's probably not government? It's probably not government. No, it's not, it's not necessarily what is the worst that can happen if you don't reserve your rights. It's you're either going to volunteer to be a slave, which is not reserve your rights, you know, because it doesn't matter to you. You're not looking at this as a fundamental basis of law. You're looking at it as somebody's opinion. If you're looking at his opinion, then you're not going to care whether you, whether you reserve your rights or not. But if you know what rights are, and you know the, the, the methods that people are usurping rights and violating rights and doing whatever, you're probably going to do everything in your power to, to, to reserve your rights so you can pull them out at any time just in case stuff gets, gets crazy, whatever the right is, you know. If they start saying, um, um, if they start saying, for example, you can't drive your car without 500 shots, a lot of people are going to take the 500 shots because they didn't reserve their rights. But as more, since we reserved our right, oh, if you're going to do that, then you know, I'm going to invoke my right to travel. Which a lot of Moors, you know, they don't got no exercising of that, but 
if these people said tomorrow 500 jabs in order for you to drive a lot of more are going to pull out their right to travel card that they've been adding their wallet for the past 10 15 years that they never used ever reserving rights right if they say vaccine moors have the reserved right to say oh no sorry i, I am exempt because i'm indigenous here's a paper witnessed sealed by my jural society where we're recognized or sanctioned by positive law we're not recognized or sanctioned by statutes or ordinances or acts we're recognized by law we're not recognized by opinion So what you want to do with regard to making sure that you have rights, just in case you're around some violators, anything that you do, having to um, include <coughs> signature, autograph, or anything like that, you're going to start writing all rights reserved on the line before you sign it and just start making that a normal thing that you do because the only way you could really reserve it is by putting it in writing you can't say you reserve your rights they're, they're going to beat you at the billy club this is not some you know throughout this phrase thing this is application not speculation this is not abstract and you start there and then do your research on reserving rights and see what that is and then you realize that that's something no, there's something called reserving rights and that's a subject matter why would there be a subject matter called reserving rights unless there's rights to reserve if you have any questions put it in the chat we probably got about 10 minutes left I'm seeing more is going live for three hours on this thing and we're here we're stuck at hour our our lives with countdowns when there's 20 seconds left if we're lucky any questions throw them in the chat any more is near Canaan land tomorrow we're at Christy Pitts for um for our Sunday Sunday class Christy and Bloor get out the building get out the building go to the park and have class at the park for all of you people who say that you know we're passive and you know you know what we're talking about um 12 12 to 12 to 2 12 to 3 depending on you know when people show up to start at 12 but you know people might not show up till 12 30. Mm -hmm. so we might lose our game time but christy pitts tomorrow christy and blur 12 o'clock if you can get there for 11 if you get there for 11 then you have a you know at least a, a hour to build before for class time. Because we might be down there probably about 10.30 to 
to get a good spot. It's supposed to be good weather tomorrow. So we'll be down there about 10.30. Um, yeah, just look for the feathers. You'll see, you'll see us. Just look for the feathers. We'll be out there. Then bring your little chair. Because, you know, ain't no chairs out there unless you're, you know, you know, a lot of the mothers come, they just bring their blanket and they just sit on, sit on the ground. So whatever works for you. 12 o'clock tomorrow. Probably not going to have anything, um, books or anything like that, so... We'll reconvene the week after, and um, that would be the first at the temple. <laughs> if nothing else comes up, my school, no questions. Any questions you got, put them in the chat. Oh, yeah, and can't forget hashtag free rise of the Moors. Thanks for the reminder. Free Rise of the Moors and free all Moors, especially these mentally enslaved Moors out here that don't want to get these basics so we can get some stuff done. Like we're saying, that's just taking a term American citizen. Jolly mentioned American citizen. Let me study this thing, see what this is. Look up American, find out what that is. Look up citizen, find out what that is. They're going to lead you to other stuff. Check what that is. Obviously, you never heard about this stuff before, so you should be researching everything. There shouldn't be no stone left unturned. Every stone should be turned over. Every stone. Because we've never been in the realm of law before. We've been in science and, and math and metaphysics and all this other stuff. But the law realm, they kept the law realm closed, off limits. You know? But you know, you know, you have those children that say off limits and they still go? And then they up finding they end up finding some you know I mean portal to some next dimension or something like that. We're those ones. You know, we tore down the tape, and we went through the through. Don't go, don't go this way. And they went that way. Everything got revealed. Everything got revealed. That everybody played you. Like we said, we've been through all these schools of thought or we know people who've been through those schools of thought and they ended at the same place where we're at, at the portal. Because they stopped listening to the people who were playing holy moly with them and went and researched on their own and found out how much stuff these people are holding back. That's why we tell people go study. Because that's this is your stuff. It ain't nothing to do with me. It's yours. You dropped your hundred bucks. I already got my hundred bucks. I don't need yours. That's yours. You're either going to pick it up or you let it, it's going to stay there. You know? And then you're going to have somebody pick it up and tell you ten grand. Ten grand for you to get your, your hundred bucks back. And then you're going to pay. Oh, I got a hundred bucks for ten grand? Woo! That's a, that's a deal. You just paid ten thousand for a hundred. Played you out of your own stuff, because the one who sold it to you knew that it was yours. They saw you drop it. They saw you drop your wallet, and they didn't run up and say, "Hey, you dropped your wallet." They waited till you to go around the corner and picked up the wallet and pocketed it. Yeah, and then pay the 10 grand and still don't even get the 100. That's yours, that you dropped. That somebody saw you dropped and they didn't say, hey, 
Hey, you have a little, you have a little dangler right there in your nose right there. Just, here's a tissue. Here's a tissue. You got a dangler. <laughs> You're just forcing them to make eye contact so they don't look at the dangler. Because they don't want to tell you you have a dangler. They just let you walk around with a dangler. And just, people just looking at you. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, look at his nose. Ooh. Ooh, you just have the dangler there. Ooh. And then you get home after a long day's work. Ah, and you go look in the mirror and there's a dangler all day, a dangler. Nobody said anything. Proper term to call ourselves, yeah, Moorish American National, Moorish American. You know, you want to stick to what's been around the longest. So we know pre Noble Juali, there were Moorish Americans. Right, because Cubans are Moorish Americans. They know that too. But they'll 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 say that they're Cuban because you know they they're not gonna steal the birthright. They got theirs. They don't need ours too. You know, everybody knows the dark skinned ones that are the Moors. The true Moors are, are the dark skinned ones. Right. And we're not talking about the dark skinned ones because somebody's skin complexion, but then you're seeing them light and not knowing that both their parents look like tar. And that melanin does wonders in, with the human body. Melanin could create crazy. Right? But in every culture, everyone knows the big lips, the big noses, the nappy hair, those are the ones. Is there a difference between citizen of U.S. and U.S. citizen? No, both of those are a fraud. You're not, you're not any of those. There's no difference. Both of them are fraud. Because remember, citizen is general society, and U.S. is not a general society. That's a corpse. That's Walmart. Can't be a citizen of Walmart. If you think you're a citizen of Walmart, probably have some helmets to go by and mouth guards. If you're talking about you got the Walmart passport. I got a vaccine passport, so I'm a citizen of Vaccinia. I'm a citizen of Vaccinia because I have the vaccine and I have a vaccine passport. <laughs> if you take that serious, you're you're you probably wear three masks already. It's over for you. <laughs> you can't be a citizen and a national at the same time. Pick one. Nobu Ali said citizen for the dummies. Because he said our nationality is more...